What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials and pick up your membership. Master music production in a record amount of time. It is 50 cents a day. What can you get for 50 cents a day? Nothing, nothing but the knowledge that you need to be a master. All right, so anyhow, we're going to be getting into um, Ableton Live and kind of uh, one of my issues that I solved for myself, and I think this is going to help a lot of people out with their workflow. Um, for me, being able to bounce stems is fundamental. It is a must to be able to do it, to be able to do it quickly, efficiently, um, because it's, it's a big part of my workflow. I send a lot of stems out, um, and as you get to do more business and you work with more artists you know, in, in your beat-making business, business or hobby or whatever capacity you choose to work in, um, it is, is very important. So the problem with me is I'm coming over from DAWs, which um, one sound, one one channel. Well, one of the most powerful things in live is the drum rack feature and, and the instrument rack feature and being able to, you know, consolidate a whole bunch of sounds onto one channel. That was, an, that was a great thing for me as far as being able to browse, but a problem for me for um, stemming out because when I would select the export all sounds feature on live, what would happen was it would give out, you know, 60 63 drum tracks or 63 snare tracks and only two of them would have sounds on it and that's that's not okay especially when you're bouncing waves you know you're getting big files um so no bueno son so what, so what i wound up figuring out how to do in the workaround and a lot of people you know they were trying to they were trying to help me out with this issue and they just they weren't able you know god bless them they weren't able to get um you know the way that the way that I uh, you know figured out for me and it was simple it was in front of my face so let's go through it first of all I have tracks here from my template that um, that I'm just not using so I'm gonna go ahead and delete these um, if you guys want to see how I set up my template go to the um, Ableton Made Easy playlist on my channel really simple to get to and I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this now. I'm going to take this same idea, you know, that I would use for a regular channel. I'm going to use it inside of my drum racks, right? Because drum racks are just channels within a channel. So you can see I have, ooh, I got a ton of hi-hat samples. Who needs this many hi-hat samples, right? But I only have four inside of the actual pattern here. So what, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, you know, right here inside, you know, inside the drum rack. And I'm going to look for signals from, you know, from the, from the mixer right here. All right. So, so I see, I see my first signal is right here. So that means all of these up here are not being used. Just go ahead and right click on them and delete them. Right. Then I'm just going to do the same thing. So this isn't being used, that isn't being used, and these three aren't being used. I'm holding down control to click those, right? Boom. So now all that is all that is done. Only the tracks that I'm using, right? On my kick track, I'm only using one kick and I know it is the rack kick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. Boom, done. Also not using this breaks track right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. Now I have set up only the sounds which I am using inside of the beat. So now I can press Control Shift R, 
go to render all individual tracks, you know, set it way 44 one 16 bits. Um, go ahead and bounce that down, save it to my Dropbox, share the link with my collaborator and or um, the artist who's bought the beat and, you know, expects the stem so they can get into the studio, get the best mix possible and get the, you know, the most hit and quality product out to the masses, which is what this is really all about at the end of the day, no matter what level you participate in the culture of hip hop and music creation and production, you're trying to get the best possible product out. You're trying to work hard, work efficiently, and just create great music. So hopefully this helps some of you guys out, you know, um, enhance your workflow. That's what we're all about here at Craftmaster Productions. Keep it simple, don't be basic, and we will see you on the next one.